I'm a choreographer and uh, that is largely my role within this process, this collaboration with Jason Truding and Suzanne Bocanegra. My role in this whole thing is, is keeping track of all the visual things. So I've been working with uh, the lighting designer, Eric Southern, and the, um, the video designer, uh, Jeff Larson, and we're trying to develop a, a whole Joseph Albers world that the performance takes place in. And a lot of the music that I've written then comes from how you take color and translate that into pitches. You know, color, color and sound is interesting to look at because a lot of different people along the way have had different ideas about how to associate the two. And actually Isaac Newton was the first person who kind of had an idea about taking the seven colors of a rainbow and kind of mapping it to a, a scale. Um, and his idea was pretty simple, um, but still kind of a lot of people have taken off on his path. But I think the work is also very much about the kinds of things that involve, are heavily embedded in my work and in Jason's work as well, in that it has to do with relation and juxtaposition and patterns and disrupted patterns um, and all of that in this world of color also. I think it also has a lot to do with us as three artists making and remaking and destroying and destructing and constructing and this whole business of being an artist and I think for that reason having three artists who are makers also in the work as performers is very interesting to me. After a couple of false starts we settled on this idea of using more or less as a script Joseph Albers' Interaction of Color and it's uh, a book that was published in the 60s and it was a textbook that art students, including myself and students all over the country, used uh, in school to learn about color relationships and um, color experimentation and uh, just a basic primer about how to use color in your work. And so I've always loved that book. I've loved looking at the color plates, just sort of flipping through and looking at those amazing uh, experiments that Albers did with color. The beginning of the piece, um, it's all about paper sounds. Um, so I guess in some ways, sometimes the sound palette is about concrete sounds. So um, my work in the group I play with kind of really comes from John Cage, and so that's maybe a touchstone in terms of um, finding ways to make sounds with objects. Um, so at the beginning of the piece, um, there's a lot about paper. We use it for sound and we use it for to show color as well. Uh, so a lot of the music's written for the sounds of paper. Swiping paper, and crumpling paper, tearing paper. But then later, later in the piece, um, some of the music's pre-recorded, so we're using the, the space and the surround sound in here is really great. So the uh, pre-recorded tracks come in. Um, we do, we've started to do things where um, we use concrete sounds that are then uh, processed. Uh, so I've been working a lot with uh, the sound designer here, Jay, to figure out how to process these sounds. This incubator series and at ADI, where we are now currently in uh, residence, is giving us a chance to play in the theater and to bring our elements together. We haven't had an opportunity um, to unpack all the materials that we're playing with and use them, uh, just stay in one place and actually play. So we, we have an opportunity to play with lighting, to play with sound, all uh, and movement all at the same time. So for me, it's like I, I'm learning so much because there's like there's like a crew. I'm fascinated by the this whole collaborative world of theater and dance and how everyone sort of pitches in and uh, not only technically but idea-wise. We've decided really fundamentally that the three of us are are truly collaborating in a way that you know 33 and a third. We, you know, each of us kind of have a third of the say, you know, we're equal partners in that way. Um, but all of us really work differently too, so I find myself being happy to be inside it a lot. Um, Susan loves to be outside it, looking in. Suzanne, I think, does too. You know, we each kind of mitigate that in a different way.